patch day. Let's go, 9.2, it's here. Servers are up for the most part. They're up right now, that's important. One of the first things that I wanna do and wanna check out and see how far I can get through is I wanna do this new Torghast mode. I wanna do the Jailer's Gauntlet. I did it with Flabby on PTR and we managed to clear four layers and get the Ma Rat mount. I'm gonna grab Flabby, we're gonna go in and see how far we can get once again. It's a faster mode than standard Torghast. Less running around, less opportunity to get lost. Did you do the story already? I did some of it. I'm skipping cutscenes though. You know me. New land, walking on water, orbs, technology. I would say Titans, but that's probably not true. 3D printing some mounts, woo. Um, I'm going to Torghast because there's new stuff there and I would like some of it. So the idea with Jailer's Gauntlet, there's four layers that are currently available. I believe that there are eight in total. They'll, they'll, they'll come out later. And you get stuff for doing them. So the first layer will get you a pet, the second layer, oh, I forget, but one of them has a cosmetic hearthstone, and then one of them has, the fourth one has the mall rat mount. I believe there's a title, but anyways, you'll see how it works when we get in there if you haven't seen it before. You can change talents every floor. We start, so hang on, I wanna do sanctify, chastity, pain, chastise, death. That should give me seven, do I have seven stacks? Almost, shield, there we go, for my intellect. And then I buffed up my shadow word death so it should summon those void boys. This one's quite good. And you wanna make sure that you're tailoring your talents as best as you can towards things that will be good versus bosses because you're mostly fighting bosses. There are a couple trash mobs that will spawn at the beginning of every floor, but not very many. And for the most part, you're fighting like a number of bosses per floor instead. Uh, sure, yeah, we'll do big old, big old flesh crafts. And then that was the end of the floor. So we go get one more power and mosey on up. Consumed or expires. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. You'll get some phantasma and some soul remnants just when you zone at the floor. So you can shop for your stuff. It is worth saving if you don't see anything that's like really, really good. I do pick up the requisitioned one though, because I feel like we may as well. So what's my big plan here? In 15 seconds, I will erupt for a lot of damage. So I'm I can also fear some people. I just want to make sure I'm standing near somebody when this Fleshcraft shield expires. It's going to be wasted. That's hard to time. <laughs> Fleshcraft. I got two seconds. There we go. I did something. <laughs> I'm helping. Uh, here, let me just for fun. Let me just fear him first and see if that does anything appreciable. Nope, never mind. It does not do anything appreciable. I've been basically trying to beef up with this build. I've been trying to beef up my fear thing, but it doesn't matter because um, you need to get it really big to make it do decent damage. And then also it's broken by other damage. I can fear him and he'll take a damage for like a second and then it doesn't matter anymore. I love putting together builds and trying to get, like trying to do big damage. I want like my own mob that I can fear just to find out how much damage it does and see if any of my, any of the things that I've done have accomplished anything. But I don't think that that's gonna, it's gonna come to that. Just for argument's sake, give me, give me a sec. I just want to find out. I'll, I can be really underwhelmed in a moment. So that's doing like eight, 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 eight. Yeah, we could take like 10% off in this way. <laughs> All uh, right, okay. Uh, how many floors is the gauntlet? We're on floor eight and I'm pretty sure this is the last one. It gives you adamant vault bosses. That's kind of cool. There we go. So that's layer one. It was eight floors. I got a pet. I also received 1300 soul ash. I got 50 cosmic flux, which is the new one. Also you get a power at the end, which is for nothing. <laughs> so, oh, hang on. First of all, show and tell. I got a new pet. It was called uh, Lightless Tormentor. I think it's just another color of those little those little Torghast pets, those little dudes. The other rewards are a tiny bit more exciting. So let's jump back in and see what we can do. That wasn't too bad. Uh, I don't feel like I helped a whole lot, but as long as I keep details closed, I'll never find out. <laughs> Here, let's do the healing does damage one because that might be nice. So my healing should do damage. So I'm just gonna power infuse Flabby. And I am holy spec, so in theory I should be <laughs> you know, considering healing once in a while. Ooh, we have a lot of goo on the floor, I see. This does seem like a big step up, mostly because of that goo on the floor. Oh, it's gone now. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> I was worried that was going to be a big problem. Let's go get some powers, shall we? I'm gonna forget Dark Technique this time. I'm gonna just lean into Scales of Trauma because I've picked that up and it does seem like it offers epic powers a little more often. 9.2 is not going anywhere in a hurry. <laughs> We're gonna be here for a while. I'm kicking back, I'm putting my feet up, I'm digging up my favorite fluffy socks. We're staying here for a minute. It's not gonna be, we're not getting out of here anytime soon. I am making myself not touch alts. I am only allowing myself to play my priest for a while. I was starting to get just way too deep into into running too many characters and I'm not allowing myself to really get into collecting either. My focus right now is gearing up my priest and doing like main kind of unlock and progression stuff. So we're on floor three. Scales of Trauma will be great if I have damage to heal. Ooh, second cruelty sensor, that's important. I wonder if I can juice up. Does this do meaningful amounts of damage? Not really. 
Not really at all. I need to take damage, or I need damage that I can heal so that I can like juice up a big old holy fire with scales of trauma. I have a pretty high cap to it now, but it's not gonna matter if neither of us take any damage. Ooh, now this stuff. This stuff hurts, that's good. I can juice up pretty good. Well, it's not very fast. You can, you can put together like boss one shots like this. So let me see if I can do any. Yeah, that was a pretty good chunk. Oh, it's a percentage of your health. So my Fleshcraft Explode will also scale off all this max health I have. Oh, I only have 74K. I had like 150 last time. Ooh, yeah, look at all this max health. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Oh yeah, just lay it all on me. All that health will help, will help my big booms. Okay, I want to do one of these big boss booms. So I need to take some damage. So I'm just going to stand in something. No, this doesn't really do all that much damage, does it? The problem is I keep saying, oh, I should stand in something. So then I'll stand in like a directional attack, like a cone smash or something. And I get myself into big trouble doing that. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna stand in this pain bringer. Oh no, he died. I have like a lot of health, you know? Cause I wanna save up, yeah, here we go. So that when we fight like a big boss that has like an annoying amount of health, I can pop him. But for that, I need to charge up a really big scales of trauma. And my scales only have 155K on them. And I know they can have way more than that. Um, here, I'll just do my, I'll do the boom that I have saved up. Yeah, it's okay. It would be so much better if I could just take damage. What can I take damage with? I need the walls of Torghast to be lined with a spike pit that I can just go stub my toe on like four times in a row. Oh, I found a puddle. Oh yeah, oh yeah, here we go. Cause I, it looks like I'm not taking very much damage, but I am, it's just because my health pool is huge. So next floor is gonna have like some big bosses and then we can do a big boom. <laughs> Are you the DPS in my raid? Look, a puddle, let me stand at that. Ooh, two puddles, even better. <laughs> Yeah, 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 double puddles, stacked puddles. There we go, what are we up to? 400, yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Cause I can modify that using um, cruelty sensor. Cause I have five stacks of cruelty sensor. So I'm gonna deal 175% more damage to something that is CC'd and I can stun it with chastise. So I can just stun holy fire. And that should be because of all this charging a really big boom. Listen, the puddle standing is gonna be worth it. Just wait. The problem is that the first guy isn't the only guy but he is a pretty good guy so. I will use my my big boom on him because we got two and a half mil to get through with him. And then maybe I'll take some more damage in the face of this fight. So what I want to do is I want to get in combat. I want a fleeting frenzy. I want to stun him and I want to use my holy fire. There we go. Now he's gone. <laughs> that was worth it. Now I just need to take more damage and then I can charge it up again. <laughs> there we go. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. Hopefully there's another boss for me after this. Oh no. <laughs> okay, well we got the hearthstone. <laughs> I'm just so excited about taking damage. The hearthstone is called the dominated hearthstone. That's for getting layer two. And then this is what the animation looks like. So you like some little portal in front of you. That's pretty cool. It makes me very excited for the other uh, hearthstone appearances that they're gonna add. Uh, do you get sucked into it at the end? I don't know. I don't want to actually hearth because I want, I need to stay here. Oh, on that last one, on the very last floor, my one big skills of trauma hit actually made me competitive. <laughs> I'm sure for like all of the rest of everything that we've done today, I have been absolutely trailing. But if I can get that one big hit off, it looks real good. Uh, recommended item levels for boss rush. So they're saying 230, 245, 260, and then 275. So um, I'm currently 248. So we just did the two that we were like recommended for. So the next one that we try once we go back in, we'll go back in and then we'll see how much harder that is. If I can get that same build and then take more damage, I think it'll be okay. Okie dokie. Here we are. Heals deal damage. The first floor I find is often the tough one because you don't have like a ton of powers just yet. But this mode is so much less annoying <laughs> because you don't have to go anywhere. I, you remember when they added Trial of the Crusader and we found out that we didn't really want raids without trash because it's a little bit boring not going anywhere even though trash is like easily the most boring part of raid. I don't feel that way about Torghast. I feel that Torghast without the running around, without the trash is the finest and most pure form of Torghast. And I wouldn't, I would almost not have it any other way now. The looting during combat struggle is really real. <laughs> because you don't, you want to focus on your fight. But what if you got just like the sickest power that made you a legend and then you, you know, you could kill this boss so much faster, you know, especially if you're not doing any damage as it is, what's the harm? So these things are quite spongy, but we're getting lots of powers, power infusion, power infusion. So now when I give Flabby power infusion, he's going to have it for 50 seconds. <laughs> So hopefully he enjoys that. I think Zareth Mortis is gorgeous. I, I agree that it doesn't feel very Azeroth-y and I'll be happy to go back to Azeroth later on. But for now, it's so pretty. I'm just gonna take health talents again because they're so useful. So much better to look at than Corthia, true. I mean, it's brighter. I'm just so biased towards zones that are just brighter. That's it, that's all I need. <laughs> 
I'm very curious if this if this uh, layer is going to get tough towards the end of it, because this is layer three, which is recommending an item level that is higher than either of us have. But it means that we might actually get a chance to use our powers. I felt like for the first couple, I wasn't really able to use a lot of my stuff because there just wasn't enough danger. Yeah, more more heal reflect. Yeah, that's good. I have three inversion prisms. So my heals deal 90% of their heal damage as holy damage. That slam does some damage, which is good. But there, oh yeah, scales of trauma. Here we go. That'll do some damage. Do we have a stun that we can put on that guy? I can do a bunch of damage to him. Maybe I can fear him. Eh, no, I need to, I need it to land while he's still- I'll just save it for the next one. We'll, we'll get him just fine. Okay, so. Da -da -da. Yeah, there we go. Man, I thought that was gonna be so much more damage. I hyped that up way too much. Thanks for the totem. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> I just need to stand on more stuff. I just gotta stand on more stuff. Oh yeah, here we go. We're gonna charge up something good now. There we go. That's better. All right, there we go. Maximum health, maximum health, and maximum health. Good, okay. Will this kill me? Only one way to find out. Yeah, 228k now because not only does it make me safer, but it means that I can save up to now 400% of my maximum health. So I could save an 800k hit. The trouble is uh, you have to heal a lot to save up an 800k hit. It takes a while. And also you can't heal someone if they're dead or if you're dead. Sometimes though, standing in something, you know, carefully. Just one, not not a lot of them, just one. With definite pre-knowledge that that will definitely not kill you. Dabbling in fire, just a little bit. Okie dokie, I don't really have any sa any damage saved up, so we're just gonna have to do floor seven the old fashioned way. If I try to save up damage for floor eight, might work, might not, we'll say. Hang on, stand in that. Ooh. And then heal, and then heal. Yeah, good, 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 good. That's juicy, delicious, useful damage. <laughs> hey, excuse me. How rude, how could you? All right, next floor is the last floor. Is it just the one boss? No, I think there's more bosses. We're not really taking any damage. Oh, I can stand in this, that'll work. Wow, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> I was all excited, I'll stand in this, there we go. Now I can heal myself. Once he's done with this, I'll stun him and see if that saved up anything. Yeah, that was a pretty good chunk, I was happy with that. It's a fine art. <laughs> taking just the right amount of damage while also not helping so that you can hopefully polish this off. It was a good effort. All right, so that's layer three, which means we now are both proud owners of the Gauntlet Runner title. I could stop being Hazeline the Insane and become Gauntlet Runner Hazeline. There we go. Okay, we got one more. Yes, yeah, so we'll take Int, Catharstic, Long PI. I'm trying to just do like damage, you know? Well, well this will be a tough first floor because this is the hardest layer. It wants gear like 40 item levels higher than what we have. We're just gonna do our best. This might take a while. There's a lot of health, but sometimes that's kind of nice. Sometimes you have like a lot of damage that you want to do and it's uh, nice to get a lot of health within which to, to work, you know? create art. Yeah, I'll take more Phantasma actually. I think a, a first floor early Phantasma earned would be really nice. I actually, you know what we'll do is we will keep doing damage. Uh, steel vitality is kind of a problem. Although if I stop him from stealing vitality, we will feel more vital, <laughs> you know? The first floor is the hardest one. I'm gonna keep telling myself that and then it's gonna be true. So we take cruelty sensor because that's what's gonna help us start doing real damage. Not exactly yet, but eventually. You just gotta get the right powers. We got this. Uh, should I resist? Cooldown's reduced. Okay, <laughs> we need some better stuff. This is gonna be tough if we don't get better damage powers because things get really dicey when stuff lives that long. All right, <laughs> let's get some good powers out here, I guess. We've gotten, I think, bad luck so far. Reduced fade cooldown, okay. So I do have one stack of the fade power, which means that I can do the fade thing pretty often. Problem is that I don't think its damage is gonna scale that high. It's not one of those things that scales off like your maximum health. So it's gonna do a little damage to the boss when it explodes, but it's not that much damage. It's not nothing. This is gonna be the true test. Imagine a day one Mara mount though. That's my Xerath Mortis buddy. Xerath Mortis. We're gonna use the fade thing a lot because that's what it's given us or we can have pretty much 100% uptime on it. Okay, we didn't need it, good. All right, well that's bait. I can't reduce my holy healing. <laughs> I'm a holy priest. I'm even using my unholy Nova, that's so unlikely. Damage done reduced, that might be useful. The maximum health is what we're gonna need to do damage though. And what I need to do is not play as tanky. I need to play the opposite of tanky. Oh, this guy, this guy sucked. <laughs> All right, we're getting somewhere. It's better than the first floor was. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Scales of trauma. We're a living. I do 105% more damage to anything that's stunned. So if I can save up a big scales hit, which currently would be like 200K, but if I get more health, then we're talking, then we're cooking. I'll do this. And then we need to take some damage, but we want to do so very carefully because I don't have like 250K. And because we're on the hard floor, which means that things actually hurt here. How much damage saved up? 133K. I could get that higher but I want to be really careful with this guy. So I think I'm just going to wing it into this guy. 
try and take chunks off them because this is really dangerous. All right, perfect. Look at all these powers. Good things, good things coming. We'll take the bolt. So we take big health. Immune to stun probably wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Okay, good. Good to know I can live that. Uh, yep. Yeah. Cruelty sensor. Ooh, that's hard. Cruelty sensor. It's all, it's all about those three components. Maximum health, modified damage on stun targets, and then as much scales of trauma as you can. So this is only floor six, but I have a feeling I'm going to get some use out of that. We'll fire up a flesh craft. That soul mass is not allowed to eat my armaments. Exploding that flesh craft on the outside <laughs> hurts my soul. But think of how safe I was. And then another one over here. We got this. I wish it would just give me scales of trauma every time. Can you imagine? <laughs> that would be so good. So I want to do this. I want a flesh craft right in the middle of everything, you know, for good measure. And I want to get some healing done, but we may not take enough damage. I can't really count on it. And then I can fear an extra guardian. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. Ooh, perfect. Okay, okay, okay. This should be a nice big hit for the next big boss. So I stun him and then big heal. Fatality. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. That's why I like to stand in puddles. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah. That feels good. Well, let me let me buy the cells. And then what else do I want? None of this. This is terrible. I'm offended. Priest powers are underwhelming. I disagree. It's just that they're very feast or famine. The good ones are incredibly good. The bad ones are wildly bad. So I need to stand in this. I'll definitely be fine. Yeah, yeah. Bring the pain. You, you can do it. Yes, yeah, perfect. Okay. I want a big juicy, juicy pop. Pain bringer. Bring the pain. Oh, yeah. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, beautiful. I would be so let down if that was the last boss. <laughs> Cause I have a, I have a pretty good, um, pretty good chunk saved up. All right, one big last boss, please. Is it you? Are you the big last boss? All right, stunt and poof. Yeah, right. It wasn't a one shot, but it was pretty good. And even if he's not like the very end one, he's still dangerous enough to make it kind of worth doing. Is that it? Is there more? What else you got? Oh, there's more. Well, I don't have any more damage saved up, so <laughs> I'll have to come up with another plan. Yeah, so this is the last portal. I'm assuming we're gonna get like one more big boss. I have like a little bit of catharsis damage. Okay, perfect, all right. This guy's got like four and a half mil. It's a vault sentinel, but assuming that he's the last one, I don't wanna just like do it too many times. Oh no, I did it into the, I did it into the debuff. I'm very silly. I'm extremely silly. Oh dear. It's okay. There's lots of opportunity to take damage. Wait, 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 yeah. <laughs> there we go. Woo, Evan Rat. Da -da 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 -da. Who needs gear? Let's get out of here and go check that out. Uh, I guess I can't mount in here, can I? Oh yeah, use the new Hearthstone troop. There we go. We get to see the end of the cast now. I want to ride around my new boy. There we go. That's the stuff. First 9.2 mount on the first day. Not too bad. I got a mount, a pet, a title, and a cosmetic Hearthstone. <sighs> Lots, lots of good stuff. I should wrap this up for the moment, but we got a week of new patch streams. I am forcibly taking myself out of collector brain and into main brain. I'm only letting myself play my main and I wanna really focus on getting as much stuff done in Xerath Mortis as I can. I have a lot of stuff to do this week though, gameplay wise. So we'll uh, explore the new zone together. Thank you so much for watching. Have a happy patch day, everybody, and a wonderful, wonderful day.